Welcome back to Life is Hard TV, the life show for the rest of us. You've tuned into the cooking channel. I'm Chef Dave, and it's Mexican night. So uh, what we're going to do, we have quite a few things on the menu. We have a little party going tomorrow night. We have eight adults, 12 kids, so about 20 people. Uh, I think the kids all eat pretty well, so we're going to count them all as adults. So on the menu for the big Mexican fiesta, steak fajitas, chicken fajitas, ground turkey, and then all the sides and fixings and all that stuff. So what we're going to do tonight, it's, this is going to be a multi-part episode because there's a lot to do. I'm going to try to walk you through from start to finish. Right now, it's a day ahead of time. Uh, so it's very important to get the uh, steak marinating 24 hours in advance. Uh, the chicken as well, you don't necessarily have to do overnight, but it, but it will help. And basically, we're going to do the same marinade for both the steak and the chicken. So what we have for the steak fajitas... I really thought about going tenderloin. Uh, I checked out uh, some of the different suggestions for uh, the best fajita steak. And the most common fajita steak typically is flank steak uh, or skirt steak. But we're going flank steak. It's a high quality steak. As long as you give it at least uh, a day or so uh, overnight to marinate. But usually it's going to show up like this. Um, I got this at Costco. It's a USDA choice. Uh, it's a great cut of steak. And usually they'll fold it and pack it that way. So what, we, what we're going to do, and typically this is not done, but what I like to do is pound the steak. It's going to help tenderize it. And we're gonna, then I'll walk you through all the ingredients for the marinade. But a uh, lot of lime juice, cilantro, that's typically the theme in, in Mexican cooking. So here we go right here. Here's a, uh, about a one and a quarter pound piece of flank steak. And I like to put... Uh, uh, plastic wrap down underneath and on top, especially uh, when you're doing chicken because you don't want the chicken to splatter all over the place. So, But I still like to line both sides. And when you're pounding steak or meat or any, any type, you want to make sure you generally start from the center and kind of work your way out. So we should almost try to get this to double in size. So let's see how it goes. You gotta really hit it hard. Don't be afraid to hit it. Make sure you don't miss the uh, the meat and hit the granite. Then you'll have a piece of cracked granite countertop, and you don't want that. So start from the middle. Careful on the edges. Great. All right, so we got that almost double in size. It's still about an inch thick. It's a nice hearty piece of beef right here. I'm just going to cut it in half to make it a little easier for grilling. Put these into the bowl. See that right there? Nice thickness, maybe about three quarters of an inch to an inch. And I already have a few pieces that have been sitting in lime juice. So we're going to put those in. Now let's talk about the ingredients. We're going to end up with about five pounds of meat here and at least a cup to a cup and a half of lime juice. So far that's three full squeezed limes right there. Very important to get that acid in to help break down and tenderize the meat and a great flavor as well. Some of the other liquids. That, that is, uh, the acid is, is not optional. It's either got to be red wine vinegar, lemon juice, lime juice. In this case we're going lime juice. We're going to add in some Worcestershire sauce for uh, additional flavoring and a little more liquid. And I'm not going to put much more than about a third of a cup, but this adds some great flavor to it. Very low sodium in Worcestershire. I like it a lot. And it's got just 65 milligrams per teaspoon. So uh, very nice flavor. It's just a lot. A lot in ground beef when I'm doing burgers. I add that, mix that to the ground beef. Soy sauce, here's your salt. You don't need to add salt to this marinade. This is a low sodium soy sauce from Trader Joe's. And one tablespoon is 460 milligrams. That's a lot of sodium, and that's low sodium. That's about half of what soy sauce has. So again, this is adding flavor. It's adding your sodium content. And again, I'm going to go about a third of a cup or so on that. Final liquid. Extra virgin olive oil, 
and about the same. We go about a third of a cup. Okay, here's where we have the fun and we add the flavor. Some of the spices. Ground black pepper, probably about a tablespoon or so. Cumin, I like to go heavy on that, as you know. And we're going to go about two to three tablespoons there. Uh, fresh ginger is preferred, but we don't have it this evening, so we're going to go about a tablespoon of uh, ground ginger. We're going to go about a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This really goes a long way. I'm not really sure if my guests like spicy food. We have a lot of kids, so uh, we'll go very light on that. It'll be a subtle spiciness. We're going to add in some green onion or scallion. Got a couple of tablespoons there. We have about a tablespoon and a half of cilantro. Some great flavor and we're going to add in some chop, finely chopped garlic. And to that we probably added about uh, two tablespoons or three pretty good, two to three pretty good sized cloves. And that should do it folks. Let me uh, rinse the hands off real quick. Okay, so all the ingredients are in. We're going to get that steak kind of moving around, make sure it all gets coated before we put the cover on. Store that in the refrigerator overnight. Maybe take a look at it in the morning. Might need to kind of reshuffle it a little bit. Great. Okay. So we're all set. We have the uh, flank steak marinating overnight in the lime juice marinade. And we're going to come back and we're going to talk about the chicken. We're going to walk through the ground beef, very similar to the turkey tacos that we did a while back. We're going to walk through all the sides. We're going to cook it up. And then when our guests get here, we're going to see if they like it. So Life is Hard TV, Life Show for the Rest of Us, the cooking channel. See you soon. Thank you.